Hi all, in the last video we looked at some properties of water that result from hydrogen bonding. Another property of water is that water molecules sometimes break apart to form OH- and H- ions. In any volume of water, 1 in 10 million water molecules are broken into OH- ions and H- ions. 1 in 10 million is the same thing as saying 0.0000000 zero one that has the same that has seven decimal places we can also write that number in scientific notation as ten to the minus seven the exponent without the negative sign is what we call pH it's a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration in solution the pH of pure water is seven consider a situation that has a hydrogen ion concentration of point one this is 10 to the minus 1, which means a pH equal 1. This is the pH of a strong acid with an excess of hydrogen ions compared to the amount of OH ions. A solution with pH 1 has 10 to the 6th, or 1 million times higher H plus concentration than pure water with a pH of 7. On the other end of the spectrum, consider a solution with pH 13. That means a hydrogen ion concentration of 10 to the minus 13, or 0 0.0000000000001. This is a very low H plus concentration, which implies a surplus of OH minus ions. This is typical of an alkaline solution, or also called a base. So pH is a measure of H plus concentration pH 7 is the pH of pure water. This is the state where the H plus concentration equals the OH minus concentration. A pH below 7 implies there are more H plus ions than OH minus ions. This is an acid. A pH above 7 implies that there are more OH minus ions than H plus ions. This is an alkaline solution or a base. Well, here's a challenge for you. Given that acids and bases are solutions that have excess ions, either H plus ions or OH minus ions, what type of molecules will acids and bases affect? The answer to the challenge is that acids and bases affect other molecules that have charge. Conversely, acids and bases do not affect molecules that don't have charge. Many molecules in the human body have some charge, either ionic or made of polar covalent bonds. That means uh, they are potentially affected by acids or bases. So we have to maintain the pH of our body fluids within very tight ranges. The human body makes use of something called the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffering system to maintain blood pH. The YouTube link in the PowerPoint provides a really good animation that explains the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffering system. Please watch that animation. It does a better job than I can with the limitations of PowerPoint. Get a good understanding of the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffering system now. It'll be emphasized in anatomy physiology, and those instru instructors will assume you understand the basics. The last two slides ask you to provide properties of water and to provide real-life examples of these properties. Give these last two slides a try. If you need help, come to lecture, and we can discuss. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll examine the major classes of biological molecules.